Oh, there you are. I was just looking at this. It's a scrapbook. Now, you might say, oh, it's a scrappy old scrapbook. But then, well, you'd look scrappy if you were 50 years old, like this is. I hadn't seen it for years. And then one day last week, I was up here in the loft clearing things out. And there it was. And it brought back a lot of memories. And it set me off on a journey. Not just any old journey, but a journey into the past. My past. Look. Now that's me, Norman Starkey, 12 years old, and in the middle of a war. The Second World War. It was a dangerous time. There were signs of war all round. One night, our house got bombed, reduced to a pile of rubble. The next day, well, I got sent away to the safety of the country. And that's when the real adventure began. I was put on a train and met at the other end by a man called Cyril Jenkins. Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. Here comes the farmer with his little gun. He'll get by without his rabbit pie. So run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. I'd never been out of the city before. The countryside was like a foreign land to me. I'm starving, hungry. You like chocolate? Chocolate? I love it. So do I. They had some in the village shop a couple of months ago. The girl in the car was another evacuee. I couldn't believe it. I'd never met her before, but she gave me half a chocolate. Her name was Mary Parker. Here we are. Your new home. Evacuees? Evacuees? What do you think I'm running here, Jenkins? A children's home? Oh, that would no trouble, Mr. Granger. You'll hardly know they're here, sir. That's because they won't be here. I'm far too busy to fool about with evacuees. Well, the truth is, Mr. Granger, I've nowhere else to put them. Everywhere's full. That's not my problem. In that case, I'm afraid I'm going to have to report you to the authorities. No need for that, is there? You don't give me any choice, sir. Is something wrong, Mr. Granger? No, it's all right, Miss Millington. Look, Jenkins, I'll do a deal with you. I'll take one, the girl. Agreed? Oh, I... Well, one is better than none, I suppose. <laughs> Come on, Mary. Mr. Granger says he'll be delighted to take care of you. Anything I can do to help, Mr. Granger? No, it's all right, Miss Millington. Thank you. Everything's sorted out. Mr. Jenkins has brought us an evacuee. Evacuee? Mary Parker is her name. Uh, Mary, this is Mr. Granger's housekeeper. But we've got nowhere to put her. <laughs> Big house this size. What I mean is, we're not used to looking after children. Don't worry, miss. She's a good girl. She won't bite. <laughs> More's the pity. Come on. Now, 
son. What are we going to do with you, eh? Oh, well, never mind. Let's get him fed before he wastes away. <clears throat> this is Norman. Huh? And you call me Auntie Amy, eh? You know, I can remember the evening, the first time I ever met Auntie Amy, as though it were yesterday. And then when I found this scrapbook in the loft, well, it brought it all back to me. The people, the places, the adventures. And it made me think, why don't I go back there and see what it's like now? So, here I am in Westbourne. And here I am. Oh. I'm trying to get in. All right, well, it's, uh, it's not open yet. This is the library museum. It's, uh, it's closed. I know. That's why I've come to open it. Oh. You mean you're in charge here? I suppose so, yeah. Oh, uh, I'm Norman Starkey. I did the telephone about doing some research here. you better come in, then. But if that lot are coming in, they'll have to be quiet. Right. Thank you. It's a bit disorganised. No, 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 no. It's, uh, it's fine. I've only just started. I'm not a proper librarian. They say they can't afford one, so I'm just helping out, really, till I get a proper job. What's under here? Oh, that. Oh, I don't that. They've been sent round to all the libraries. Can't afford a librarian, yet they waste money on computers. Right. Now well, then, let's see. Uh, on, on, on. Terrific. And about time, too. Do you know how long I've been waiting to get switched on? Well, sometime, by the look of you. What's going on? Well, I think it's known as interactive software. Well, turn it off, I don't Don't like touch it. that switch! Nobody turns off Professor Cedric David Rom. Cedric David Rom? Oh, C.D. Rom. Is, is this some sort of joke? I beg your pardon? You, what's your name, young lady? My name? It's Lee. Ah, Miss L.E.A. Lee. You don't spell it like that. Of course you do. L-E-A, Lee. Same as T-E-A, T. Wrong. I might not be much good at spelling, but I can spell my own name. It's L-double-E, -E, same as B and free. See? And evacuee. Uh, that's what I was, well, the last time I was here. You were an evacuee? Yes, yeah, something wrong with that. Mrs. Misery would say so. <laughs> Mrs. Misery? Who's Mrs. Misery? Well, pay attention. Here you see an evacuee. He runs like a whirlwind that's been set free. Can't tell a fly from a bumblebee. Just serves him right, don't you agree? Here's another evacuee. Breaking the springs of a new settee. He's with the grace of a chimpanzee. Oh, what a fright. And don't you agree? Oh, how I hate evacuees. They don't do as I say. Down on my knees, won't someone please? Just take them away. Just take them away. Oh, she is a misery. <laughs> I'm glad Auntie Amy wasn't like that. Who's Auntie Amy? Oh, she, uh, she took me in the first night I was evacuated. What was she like, then? Well, cheerful, chatty, slightly chubby. Or chirpy, chopsy and slightly chunky, to put it another way. Charming. I was merely trying to point out that all those words have something in common. They're all English? Oh, they all start with the same sound, as in, uh... Chump, which is what you are. <laughs> I was going to say Chad. Chad? What's a Chad? Well, Chad was a funny little fellow that people used to chalk on walls, saying things like, uh, what, no chocolate? Why? Well, because there was no chocolate. 
shortages, you see. No chocolate, no eggs, no bananas, no lots of things. Because of the war. I think I might be able to help out here. Now, pay attention. Look out! The Chad is on the snoop, trying to check it out. Look out! Listening in on all the chat, seeing what it's about. Cheap, no jobs for me to choose. I've chased around so much today, I'm chucking out my shoes. Look out! The Ched is on the snoop, trying to check it out. Look out! Listening in on all the chat, seeing what it's about. No chocolate bars again This cheese just tastes like chalk I queued for cherries yesterday And only got a stalk The Ched is on the snoop Look out! Didn't you miss having chocolate and bananas? Oh yeah, but the thing I missed most when I was evacuated was my home and my mum in fact, I've already uh, started writing a book about it. It's all on this computer disc. Do you, do you mind? Help yourself. Right. Now, this is where I've got to so far. I know it's a lot to ask Amy, what with you having taken one in already today. But if he could just stay for a couple of days till I can find somewhere else. He's more than welcome. Thank you, Amy. You say Mr. High and Mighty Granger wouldn't take him then? Didn't want him. Or the girl. Yeah, I knew he was no good the day he arrived. Money. That's yeah. all that one's interested in. More soup, no one? Have some more bread as well. You can. But then it's straight to bed, mind. Spoon. What else was I supposed to do? You should have insisted. He said he'd report us to the authorities. Is that what you want, them poking their noses in? And you think this is better, having that girl snooping round all the time? She's just a kid. You can take care of her. I'm sorry. I was just looking for a glass of water. Water? Of course. I'll bring it up to you. Go back to your room and get ready for bed. I'll be up in a minute. Right. Leave her to me. I'll deal with that little madam. The window, we must have got out the window. What Mr. Jenkins is going to think, I don't know. Right. 
it's time we had a little chat. Now let's get one thing straight. There are rules in this house. Auntie Amy! Oh my goodness! Well, if this wasn't your first night here, my lad, I'd have something to say to you about this. <laughs> By the way, you're not afraid of ghosts, are you? Nothing to worry about. An old house like this is bound to be one or two, isn't there? They're quite harmless. Just the occasional noise in the night. You'll be all right. As long as you don't go wandering round the house. Well, it's time for my bed now, so don't go giving me any more frights. Sleeping under the bed, indeed. I never had the like. That's why I sleep at home. Bombs can't get you there. Oh, we don't have bombs here. We don't agree with that sort of thing, so there's no need to be scared. Who said I was scared? Oh, nobody. Nobody. I'm sure you're both very brave boys. I got something for you. A torch! That share them. Those are my boys. But he's got army ones now. That, don't go wasting that battery, there's only the one. Well, straight off to sleep now, eh? Hey? <laughs> Good night. Good night, Auntie Amy. You know, it's funny how you get a feeling about a new place. That you're going to be happy there? Or miserable. And then something happens that makes you wish you were back home in your own bed. Dennis, Dennis, wake up, there's something at the window. 